Have you ever wondered what a cloud computing person actually does? i.e. DevOps, cloud, and all the other associated buzzwords? Well, you're in luck. I'll break down what I do and other cloud solution architects do in our industry. So today's sponsor is Windex, because we're getting rid of the smoke and mirrors. No, I actually wish that was true. Windex is not sponsoring this video. I kind of wish it was true though. Windex, hit me up. Also stick around for some bonus material on how you can speed up your journey to becoming a solutions architect within cloud. Let's go. This that Fenty fried chicken. That Fenty fried chicken. This that Hey VFC fam, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your Venti Fried Chicken author and global cloud slinger. Book link in bio. This channel is dedicated to cloud computing and technology. So if you're interested in cloud or tech, you should subscribe for weekly content. This video was demanded by TikTok, Pitchfork style. So I aim to be transparent, no gatekeep. And to be clear, I can't share any like client information or any compliance related stuff for obvious reasons. But I think this will still be valuable due to you being able to understand kind of what the duties are and what goes into the duties of a solutions architect in cloud. So what's the difference between a cloud solutions architect and like a DevOps engineer? So a DevOps engineer, if you're thinking of a basketball team, is more of a role player. They're not LeBron James, but they might come off the bench and shoot a nice three, or they might be the person that, you know, you throw the ball to in the post to put up some points. I don't even really watch sports, so let's start over. A DevOps engineer is usually just a person that's a part of the team. They do some very significant stuff, but they maybe have like a fixed role or a piece of the project where the solutions architect has like a bigger overview. They're the big picture thinker. They're responsible for the overall architecture, making sure that we hit all the security requirements, compliance requirements, and have continuity with you know any of the client technology and also vet new technology. So I know what you would logically ask or what I would ask is, how did I get there? In a lot of ways, I got a lot of burn marks. It's a role that usually takes time. As you're in more wars and more battles, you learn more things and then you know like all of these pitfalls you should look out for and organically you start to grow this momentum and kind of one day you wake up in your solutions architect in some ways. I was able to do this through sheer amounts of just how many projects I have been on over the last few years at the enterprise level. But then some other people became solutions architects in a smarter way than I did. Like I have a friend that he got in the cloud and he hitched himself to another solutions architect and basically became his apprentice, which is a very good way to basically bridge that gap of knowledge, but having someone that knows what they're doing, you know, kind of having your back through that whole journey. But I know another question, what are some specifics, Josh? I'm glad you asked. Some of the things you'll do, but not limited to, are you collaborate with the application architect, you create and vet technical architectures, you lead proof of concepts, which helps you prove new technologies, you usually define the development cycle of your team, you coordinate with the project manager and scrum master, you help develop cost projection, help remediate severity one tickets, ensure infrastructure meets all compliance standards and best practices, you help batch work for DevOps engineers, you help approve the final project before you launch, scalability, security, compliance, resiliency yeah I know it's a bit of buzzword bingo another question you might have is what technologies do the CSAs use cloud solution architect by the way cloud native tools such as compute network storage and any specialty tools needed for depending on the product ie you might use redshift if you're doing like some big data transformations I did do a recent talk on uh, analytics and AWS recently at the Denver meetup you can check out that link above automation frameworks you might use are Ansible and Terraform as you're trying to create repeatable, resilient infrastructure. And you might use other third-party tools depending on the stack that you're using, the software stack. The SA is also usually the one that is first to charge in and use new technology and assess the risk that is associated with that new technology. A big beautiful part of cloud though is the unknown that is cloud. Most of the major providers are dropping new services every week, i.e. AWS, GCP, Azure, Oracle Cloud, VMware. Also as a solutions architect, you're usually gonna be cloud agnostic because we're trying to do what's best for the job. In a nutshell, the CSA is the big picture thinker and master hoverer, hoverer. And you usually have a lot of flexibility because all you need is a strong internet connection. Now for the bonus tips to speed your journey up. Find the solutions architect where you work or within your network and just ask them how they got there. This is an easy way to cut out a lot of unnecessary work and unnecessary technology in some ways, and an easy way to organically earn new mentors. Next, I would say just like hunker down on mastering the fundamental, because that is the foundation of a solutions architect in cloud. Next, after you've learned like one basic cloud like AWS, Azure, GCP, then I would say start to branch out. 
Lastly, be patient with yourself and look for stretch opportunities to take you to the next level. And a bonus bonus tip is to get pro certifications i.e. the AWS Developer Pro or the AWS Solution Architect Pro or specialty certifications like the Google Cloud Big Data Cert. Occupy an area that not a lot of people know about in depth and that's a good way to become a very specialized solution architect. As normal, I want to hear from you all. And everyone knows this if you're on TikTok. Let me know where you're at in your cloud journey below. Also, if you need some cloud project ideas, check out the video that's suggested at the end of this video. Also, if you need resume help, there'll be another suggested video that will help you with that as well. Train, inspire, relate, cloud.